month is Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month, and today a Lincoln mom is speaking out and sharing her daughter's story with the hope that it saves even just one life. 1011 Samantha Burns sat down with her earlier this week. She joins us now with more. Gina Bozak says her daughter Megan Smolik was cheerful, outgoing, and determined. But her mom says after Megan suffered a traumatic brain injury, things started to change. And now she wants people to be aware of the warning signs. Growing up, Gina Bozak says when her daughter loved something, she committed to it. One of those things was her job at Sonic, where she was a general manager. It was family was all she cared about and Sonic at that point. But it was that job she loved that led to the toughest time in Megan's life. In January of 2018, Megan was driving to work when she slid through an icy intersection at 84th and Havelock and collided with a semi truck. Megan suffered from a traumatic brain injury and had to learn how to eat, walk and talk all over again. It's a story Megan sat down and shared with 1011. Making lots and lots of progress. It's been amazing. Like, I wouldn't have been able to do this like in March, but like I can legit stand up. Gina says despite Megan's optimism, something had changed in her daughter. She didn't really care about some stuff and then she was just so angry. Four years later, in May of 2022, Megan took her own life. Gina says she went to Megan's apartment on May 9th when she couldn't get a hold of her. When she and police got into the apartment, they found Megan gasping for air. Megan was taken to the hospital where she died two days later. On Wednesday the 11th, she opened up her eyes and she squeezed my hand and she, <laughs> I said, told her that mommy was here and I told her that it was okay for her to go. Gina says her daughter died a hero as she was an organ donor and was able to save the lives of others. But she's hoping that impact will go even further by spreading the signs that someone may be at risk of committing suicide. I know Megan would love for everyone to know about it if we could save even one person. Gina says those warning signs can be as simple as a change in behavior or lack of interest in things someone once loved. She says if you're worried, check in with your loved one and help them get connected with resources. Because I don't want anyone sitting where I am because it's, it's just a killer. If you're wanting to find resources for suicide prevention or events you can attend to bring awareness, we'll have more information on our website, 1011now.com.